Mr. Christian, you're still under oath, sir. Have a seat. Uh, Mr. Christian, as we, you've previously testified that you are the father of Shannon Christian. Yes, I am. And uh, you've prepared a statement there that uh, to tell the jury about what Sh who Shannon Christian was and what her loss has meant to you. Yes, sir. Can you please tell the jury what you've prepared? Shannon had a beautiful face. Shannon had a beautiful smile. She had a beautiful heart. She loved her friends. She would set up, I've seen her all night, holding hands with a, with a friend that had had a fight with a boyfriend. I've seen her set up all night and talk to her closest friend in the world all night about how she was missing her father that had passed away. She loved her brother. I've seen her follow him over five states watching him play baseball. She was committed to him. All the way from the age of 10 years old, all the way through his college career. She was always there. Nobody could say anything negative about her brother. She'd let him have it. She loved her mother. I watched this over 21 years. She was not uh, just mother and daughter. They were best friends. I will never forget the last thing she said to me was, I love you. She was a proud young lady. She was proud of her friends. She was proud of her family. She was proud of her education. She was proud of her school. She was proud of the, her faith in God. She was proud of her desire to help children. And one of the things that hurts the most is she was proud that she saved herself for a husband someday. My wife my son, and myself. We think about her every day. Every minute. We 
we think about her in everything we do. Since she was taken away from us, I don't think that we have had one single day that we could honestly say was complete. We have all tried everything we know. We have seeked the help of a doctor. try to deal with the hate that we live with. The endless thoughts of the pain and the horror that she endured. pictures that have been put into our minds of her last hours I live with the thought that when my son and I, with the help of a bunch of college kids and an old man, found her forerunner, was well, she still alive in that can? not 200 yards from where I stood. And nothing that anybody says, not a doctor, Not our friends, not even what we say to each other makes that horror go away. I will never get to say yes to a young man. I will never get to walk her down the aisle I will never dance with her at her wedding I will never get to hold my four grandchildren she wanted to have. I will forever live with the constant nagging, haunting thought. of my daughter calling to me to help her 
to stop them from hurting her. Never. Well, I stop hearing. my daughter's voice. For me to save her. Someday, I hope that I get to tell her that I'm sorry. I was just down the street. I was trying. But I didn't hear her. I couldn't hear her cries. We had a thing, me and her. I don't think I ever parted without saying I love you. And she would say, I love you more. I hope she knows once and for all. I love her more.